Hello my soccer universe. Honestly, I was not really planning on making a Premier League review video on Friday because I have been doing them quite frequently and this midweek I actually only saw highlights and that I watched in the morning. So I initially I was about to focus more on the cup competitions, but then, yeah, uh, I, they are A, not worth it to make a separate video. I mean, I watched uh, Coppa Italia and Coppa del Rey uh, with great results, but, you know, didn't really work. And then, uh, and that's the main reason why I decided to do a Premier League review video, because uh, the onset for this weekend's ties, or tie, uh, the big one completely changed uh, based on what happened uh, in the midweek uh, and I almost was kind of devil's advocate yeah I hope they don't stumble up well one of them did stumble up and there were some sensational results in there as well with uh, yeah, few teams going down to nine men uh, some team again losing a lot of goals and so on and so on I am of course wearing Speaking of scoring goals, the new Manchester United jersey and the astute eye will note that there is a new jersey hanging up there as well, which the unpacking video for it you will get tomorrow. So just a little tease, it is somewhere up there, <laughs> something new happening. Now I gave, I gave you a good look, but I can tell you the two behind me are not the ones. In any case, what are the headlines? Well, uh, two teams went down to nine men. Arsenal and Southampton both ended up losing, as is typically if you go down for two, uh, <laughs> to two men. Uh, but one was actually better up until the first record, where the other one completely fell apart. Um, and United scoring nine, doing something for the goal dif the difference. City and Leicester keep on marching. Um, Liverpool, though, imploding. A little bit like Spurs as well. Uh, Liverpool, I think is at the moment out of the title race. Perhaps for personal, we'll talk, talk of that. And Spurs, the other team that was in Champions League final in 2019, might at most get a European spot. And then the last one, of course, the story is that Jesse Lingard had a dream debut for West Ham. We'll get into the games. I mean, the first game I did not see anything, but it's remarkable. Sheffield United came back from two goals down to win against West Brom and maybe they have a chance of surviving. West Brom, thumbs down. Arsenal was the way better team in the first half uh, against Wolves. Probably should have scored more than the one by Pepe, which was a, actually a quite a nice individual effort. Saka had a goal disallowed for offside. Uh, Arsenal were really, really flying. But then David Luiz trips up uh, the attacker for Wolves. And gets sent off in the penalty. Yeah, but a lot of the law, yes. But I think that's exactly you wanted to avoid that. that penalty goal and the red, red card. You did not want to have this. But yeah, he seemingly was the last man. So he, he gets out of Ruben Neves in stop, deep in stoppage time of the first half. Makes it 1-1. One, one. And then Joao Moutinho with a wonderful shot. Great shot. Makes it 2-1 Wolves. And Wolves hang on. And then uh, when Bernd Leno... Gets it off for handling outside of the box. Uh, writing was on, on the wall. And that was a loss for Arsenal that came a little bit out of nowhere. A teeny bit out of nowhere came also that Southampton lost a second time within two seasons. 2-0. Uh, 2-0. Uh, um, the first one they recovered well from. This one, I mean that... I thought when I just saw the matchup, Manchester United, Southampton, oh, this might be interesting. But then you realize that Southampton is without nine starters. They have to field kind of a second string squad. So it was already a tall uh, ask. And then when Jankiewicz was sent off in the second minute for a really rough challenge. <sighs> They were not going to win this by a lot. No, not surely not. Van Bissaka, Rashford, Benrek with all Cavani already at the halftime. It was 4-0. And United went for the jugular jug jug because they really wanted to boost the goal di di difference. Um, that's what we said. Southampton, the goal was dis uh, denied for offside. But then it took a while. From the 70th on, Martial, McTominay, Bruno Fernandes, a penalty. After Benrik got sent off for nothing, uh, the red card was actually meanwhile rescinded. Um, and then Martial and uh, David James uh, 
finish up the route, maybe they want to go for 10 to get a new rec record, which is the highest uh, result in the Premier League. But 9-0, quite impressive and kind of un uh, underlining, you know. Manchester United had a bad week last week, so let's get back full force and put the others under, under, under pressure. Uh, but the pressure is not something about us, Man City, who are in the third minute got the 1-0. Uh, Sterling in the 38th made it 2-0. Should have been many new goals. I think this was just utter dom dominance by City. Um, Leicester all, had a little bit more trouble with full falling, but they also got their goals already in the first half with Ian Archer and uh, James Charles Justin. Uh, they had also, I, I think, a goal late on the this lot, but Fulham had, had, had a few chances, especially uh, Lookman, the guy who missed this wonderful weird penalty at West Ham uh, not too long ago and now he actually seems to be one of their better players I still don't count Fulham completely out because at least when I look at performances they're not doing as badly uh, Everton with a win at Leeds United uh, which they bounced back from this loss to New Newcastle and no one could really explain although they are better away from home than at home and Aston Villa against West Ham that's I told you this is probably a very interesting game. I again I did not watch it, but in the second half it came alive with Suchek. Who else uh, scoring? He seems to be every time I watch West Ham Highlands, Suchek uh, seems to scoring. Then Michael Antonio twice assists Jesse Lingard, who just was going to West Ham. This was his first game. Had not played for United at all, and he scores two two goals in between Oli Watkins uh, after a nice Grealish pass uh, made it one two, but. It ends 1-3 for West Ham, and West Ham is the better, um, what, uh, Gar Garden Blue team? However you want to call it. Um, it's definitely an interesting uh, result. Interesting, yeah, uh, surprise. I the fun, the fun thing is, I mean, with the way that Liverpool has been uh, playing as of late, Either they perform away from really well where they are clinically, but uh, at, at home, something seems a little bit off. And yes, it's very easy to explain because there are many um, injuries and then they have to play not ideal uh, formations. And yeah, uh, also the style of club is kind of, kind of intense and with the intense scale that we have. <laughs> but the injury bug really hit by a bit, bit, bit Liverpool and is actually sparing this time Manchester City. So we have kind of a reversal from uh, the last season where it was Manchester City who was struggling with in injuries and then uh, something not quite, something needed a changing and Pep did it. And now they build it up from the back and now they can go on the front and seem to uh, going forward well. Liverpool is exactly at that point where uh, City were last season. They lost to Brighton at home and they deserve to lose. Al uh, getting gold in the 56, Brighton probably could have won by more. Um, Chelsea wins at Spurs through a Jorginho panel penalty. Um, what else can I say? The only thing positive that I can say is that Thomas Tuchel's start is actually quite good because he had three clean sheets in, in a row. And Spurs, yeah, um, it doesn't look good. And two months ago, we thought they are title contenders. So, boom, same thing goes for Liverpool. So it's, it tells you how quickly things can change, especially in an intense season like this one, where I think the injuries will make a big decider. If Manchester City stays without in, in injuries, as you can see here in the table, they will easily win the Premier League, 81% uh, winning the, champ the ch championship. Uh, United 12, Leicester 1, Liverpool 5, because they still have the head-to-head, -head, which we'll see in a, a soon. But it seems like those. Chelsea, maybe if Tuchel can uh, stay at the ship, they might actually challenge for top four. Um, if you ask, 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 ask me, it City will run away with it. United might uh, get second, and then between Leicester, Liverpool and Chelsea, potentially the remaining spots in the Champions League. Um, I don't trust West Ham quite yet, although they're really, really high up there. Maybe Everton? Nah, Spurs for sure not. Ar Arsenal will probably get, get uh, stuck in midfield and I think there will not be European um, play. And on the bottom, look Sheffield United, 7% to survive. They might like the chan uh, chan chances they had now. They have three wins. Keep it going, keep it going. Maybe, maybe you can catch Burnley and Newcastle because New they, they both don't seem all that great. Uh, 
we don't need to adjust that much, but if we adjust, we actually see that Everton at, at the moment with games in hand, but one of them is Manchester, so I think it's a little bit deceiving to see them uh, that high up there. Um, but yeah, Ever Ever Everton doing quite well, being the positive uh, surprise of the season so far, whereas Liverpool, uh, Chelsea and Arsenal, three big names, are really uh, rather on the ne negative side and we don't need to talk more about Sheffield United, although they're getting better and better. Um, in the expected standings, and I think this is probably the most interesting part, here you can definitely see it is City clearly number one uh, and they are five percent tall fifth percentile in the simulations at 74 that's the average for for for, for united so i mean um in five percent of the cases manchester city was behind united that doesn't sound good in in, in a way with 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 with, 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 with that range uh no nah, it actually if united would get 74 points then we should say then there's a five percent chance that manchester city finishes behind them I think you can guess where 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 this will be going. Uh, Liverpool now is projecting into, into third. Leicester just ahead of Chelsea, but you can see already in this that they are rather rather close. West Ham slightly ahead of the chasing pack, which goes until Arsenal is rather level, and then you can make the cut. Southampton, although they had a good showing at in, in the first half, they're not gonna go any anywhere at this moment. And on the bottom, it's also relatively clear with Fulham, Sheffield, and West Brom. Uh, the next round, it it is a last ditch effort to prevent Kaka of Manchester City from winning the title with Liverpool against Manchester City. I do not think that this, if Liverpool would have won in the midweek against Brighton, then you could say this was the last chance for Liverpool, but I think this is just a loss too far. If Liverpool wins this, you kind of open the door a little bit maybe for Manchester United to catch up uh, or, or so on. Or maybe you keep Manchester City close enough, um, but realistically it's not the last chance for a title. I think United against Everton is a very intriguing and interesting matchup, as is, uh, you know, in the mid-table. Two teams that are actually in good form, but with shaky results, Villa against Arsenal. Um, of course, Wolves against Leicester, we also have to mention there, because that uh, should be an interesting one as well. Uh, just in case I don't get um, the review video out on time, because we have a Monday eve evening game, so the next Premier League review will be the earliest Tuesday, if not Wednesday morning. We already have on Tuesday eve Evening, two FA Cup games. Uh, Burnley, Bournemouth is probably not the one that you're excited about. But Manchester United, West Ham, that sounds like a good uh, tie. We have then Leicester against Brighton. That I think could be interesting. Everton against Spurs. Maybe, maybe Chargers, maybe Wolves against Southampton. So there are a few interesting things in the FA Cup as well. So yeah, that was it from a very interesting midweek. And a midweek, as I said, um, it probably will not make me want to watch Liverpool against Manchester City because there's not too much writing on it anymore. So I have to see what other games are at the same time. In any case, fill me in if you want to add something more to what I said in this video. Uh, the presentation I gave you is not yet on a new model. I'm still working on that one. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing and clicking the little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a wonderful day. Bye!